Hello Sagittarius, I hope you're doing wonderful, beautiful soul. So this is going to be your mid-November love story reading. If you're new, hello, my name is Amber, it's nice to meet you. If you're returning, thank you for lending your energy to the channel, it means a lot to me. Um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button if you'd like to know when the next videos will be posted. Also, if you want these super early, plus all the bonuses or extendeds from anything I post here, or on social media, Instagram, Facebook, um, which are new moon, full moon, planetary transits, any energy shifts that I feel, and uh, mindfulness corner. Um, I don't know. I do a, a lot of things. Check that out. All those links are in the description box below. If you need a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Links also in the description box below, or you can go to my website right up there, and we will be more than happy to schedule you. Um, please remember, Sagittarius, this is a general reading. If it doesn't fit, don't make it. You don't want those problems. Check your moon, rising, Venus. Um, if you don't know what those are, there is a link in the description box. I think way at the bottom for you to get that for free. It's a free website, so, you know, it is what it is. Okay, Sagittarius. I forgot to roll for you. For those of you who don't know, I do roll a 20-sided die before I start. It's just something that was given to me to do. Okay, so we have Roots of Abundance. Quieting the mind and earth magic. Sagittarius, it's weird because I feel like you're holding on to what you have during this time. You're finding balance in what it is that you do have. And you're trying to see the best in a situation. Um... I feel like if you're dealing with someone, they are kind of doing the things they've always done. Um, but they're expressing more of trying to balance things. So I feel like both of you are just trying to have find and have peace in whatever it is that you're doing with each other. It's more about working it out on the physical plane. Probably going on dates. Um, doing things with each other. Yeah, that's all I'm getting. Okay, so we have romantic feelings. Release your ex. Keep an open mind. And deception. Please do not be deceived, Sagittarius, because everything is not hunky-dory. Everything is not fixed. Everything is not perfect. I feel like I need to tell you that problems will arise in the future, unfortunately. Okay? But right now, everything's good. Bask in it. Enjoy it. Okay? Because I feel like you feel like your feelings are getting deeper um, for this person, which is really good. You feel like they're changing. Or you met someone new and you're excited about the, the energy that you're in. And I feel like you should be right now um the thing is i feel like whoever you're dealing with knows that they either need to heal what has happened in the past between you two or that you are coming out of something tumultuous okay so they're doing all the things that they're supposed to do but you haven't really gotten to the nitty-gritty of everything right now you're just having a good time i feel okay Right now, I feel like you're just in the throes of emotion or, or something like that. Five of coins, three of wands, two of cups, three of cups. Is that the death? Yep, it is. What? What is happening? I got hair falling everywhere. Okay, Empress. Knight of Wands. I brushed my hair when I went to the bathroom and I shouldn't have did that. Queen and the Queen of Cups. Okay. Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck we have the Two of Coins and the Chariot. 
The chariot tells me that your willpower and your drive is towards making this happen on earth, okay? So both of you are just trying to balance things out on the earthly plane, like I said before. Um, spending time with each other, getting to know each other, all that kind of thing, okay? I love that there isn't emotion or cups in this because I feel like right now you haven't really touched the emotional stuff. It's more about just having fun and doing things together, okay? So the five of coins here, um, I feel like you were either left out in the cold by someone or feeling like love wasn't for you, you know? And it's kind of like you've learned a lot about yourself and what it is that you want. I don't know why I get this feeling of you being like, I just want to have fun right now. I do feel like you're waiting on that perfect thing or that thing to spark you and you're feeling like this could be it you're feeling like you're balancing with someone or things are coming together you feel a connection but i do feel like there's more to be done here and i got that feeling when i pulled out the earlier cards but it don't don't put all your eggs in one basket right now that's what i'm saying because i feel like this person is just trying to have a good time with you and they like you on that level of like friendship and doing stuff together and wanting to be around you and things like that but there's a lot of things that have to end for this person like there's there's still a lot that has to continue for this person you know what I mean like um there's still a lot that needs to be discussed and talked about and there's still a lot that needs to be seen because right now you're still just in this emotional kind of phase, you know, but the transformation is happening. You need to wait it out because I feel like you're a person that's like, well, let's do it. Let's go in, you know. Um, so I feel like there's a lot of abundance here, believe it or not, even though this is an emperor, I feel abundance from this card. And I feel like that you feel like... I feel as though you see it as having a lot of abundance because there's a lot of action here. And I feel like you've gotten out of a relationship or a situation, maybe with this person or another, where there wasn't a lot of action. And it was just a lot of there in the space. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and because of all this energy, you're feeling strongly about this. But keep it on the level that it is now and then eventually I feel like in December probably you're going to start getting into the emotional stuff okay so this is just a time about you enjoying what it is that you're receiving right now which I feel like you deserve especially coming out of the five of coins energy for sure, Sagittarius, for sure. Okay, so we have the Magician in Reverse and the Six of Pentacles. I feel like in the past you manipulated yourself to stay in a situation because it was just there. Maybe it's something that you dealt with for a long time. You put a lot of energy in. Um, but when you assess what it is that you were holding on to, you know, I feel like it's that wisdom that you've gained, that you gained. And you were like, you know what? I'm going to let this go or I'm going to let them walk away. So you allowed them to do that. It's like you gave in to that energy. I do feel like you or they tried to work it out, though. I do. Um, and that takes up a big part of that energy as well. Queen of Cups, Empress in Reverse, and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, for, I feel like your first initial reaction is to... You're thinking that this is it, okay? Um, but it's more of your emotions because you're happy. So be a little careful because I feel like there's more for this person to prove. There's more for them to do than what you're getting right now. So you need to allow them to do that. They're still, they're still nurturing. There's still care that they need to show. There's still things that need to be done. 
this is still an investment even though you feel the connection don't give up don't give in you know there's still more that needs to be done i mean that's all that i see here because i feel like you're quick to invest when you see something because you may feel as though like something is missing and it is i feel like emotionalness is missing or the the i care about you's the we're gonna be together's are missing and don't go trying to make that happen okay so knight of pentacles nine of pentacles in reverse and the seven of swords yeah this person that you're dealing with <clears throat> is moving really slowly but they're moving really slowly towards something you feel like something real and i feel like they're doing things for you they're actively doing things for you taking you out on dates maybe giving you gifts or something like that you're feeling like a priority but please be aware that this person has not given up their individuality yet they still haven't made that choice to end their life as it is and then take it up with you so keep that in mind Page of Swords in reverse, Hangman, and the Four of Wands. Yeah, don't get so hung up on hearing words or getting a decision right now. Because I feel like if you start focusing on that Sagittarius, you're going to miss the point. It's like you're supposed to have a good time. You're supposed to be involved in the, in the passion in a healthy way. Um, letting this person take control and show you how much they care and what, what are you trying to say to me? Um, what the direction is going to be. Okay. Um, uh, I feel like this is the foundation for now. Letting them show you, letting that passion come in and enjoying this energy. You know, using it as a source of creativity and inspiration in your life. Knight of Swords, Ace of Swords, and the Sun in reverse. I feel like you want to come in with a conversation because you want to get those words out from this person. Um, it's almost like you just want the truth and you want to be clear about what's happening. But I'm going to tell you the truth, Sagittarius. If you push it too early, it's not going to, they're not going to say what you think they're going to say. Or they're going to pull back because it's too much. Yeah, it's too much for them to think about. It's too much truth. They're just having a good time. They're just going on dates. They're just enjoying the, um, energy. So the world in reverse and the four of cups. Be careful about that, those feelings, because you're going back to this old energy where you want to push. You want to make sure you know where things are going. You're trying to plant seeds and make things grow. You know, you're not, you're like, the seed is here, so I just need more. And, and I feel like you're going to really be pushing for more here. But, but you have to let kind of like the emotion develop on its own. You don't want to like hand it to them like, I just need you to say you love me. And then they say, I love you. They take the cup and say it. You want them to come from a, a authentic place. Yeah, an authentic place. And you want it to come from somewhere real. So you have to be patient for that, unfortunately. Because I feel like you don't want to be. But... Okay, Sagittarius, perfection. Yeah, you're looking for groundedness because you feel like you have something and you don't want to let it go. That's what this is. But you have to realize that you have everything you need within yourself. This is just an additional thing, you know, for you. Um, so you're doing really well. You're being really grounded. But don't let your mouth get you in trouble because that's what I see is happening here. Self-worth, okay? So... This is interesting because I feel like this person needs to, they need to be open to wanting to work on something. Like seeing this relationship as something of worth to them. 
and they're getting there but they're not quite there yet so you have to allow them to do that you know it's like they have to want to make those ties or be motivated on their own you can't push them to do that impasse this is feeling like there's a block and that's why I feel like you're going to be like, I want to push more or I want more to happen here. It feels like things are stuck, but it's not really. It's just the way that you're looking at it. On the bottom, we have rejection. And this is the rejection is God's protection card. It just means that it's not time. Because if you push it, remember what I told you was going to happen? They're going to get closed off. Okay, so don't do that. Don't push your luck. I hate to say it like that, but that's how I'm feeling it. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see what Alice has to say. Not that. Shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this. Yeah. It's going to take patience for you, Sagittarius. And you don't want to wait because you don't want to waste your time. Just like you did in the past. With maybe with someone else. You just, you're just like, I'm going to get what I want to get. I'm going to do it. You know, but don't do it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I hate to say it like that. But it just means that your time will come. You'll get through this. You know, you're creating something. You're painting a picture with this person. You're painting a scenario. Things are building up. You know, it's like you're doing it in a healthy way. Like from friends to lovers or whatnot. There is a strong connection here. There is an opportunity. But this person has to get through this energy first. Because I feel like you're just like, let's do this. And to them, this is something bigger than just do this. Okay? So Sagittarius, thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. I love you. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.